Hey, what's up guys? Today I prepared a new tutorial for you. I was animating uh, a coin uh, recently for my work and I thought, hmm, it could be a nice idea for my blog, so I decided to record uh, a quick guide for you. And before we start, uh, I also remind you to hit a comment and drop a like if you want to su support me as a creator and of course if you want more useful stuff, uh, you can join uh, my Instagram and of course subscribe uh, this channel okay enough of the intro let's go to the after effects and start animating first of all i could show you the simple uh, way how to animate uh, the coin yeah it could be uh, some uh, something with uh, cinema 4d render okay then we can add um, depths yeah and after that uh, we can also rotate so it could be this method yeah i've already done a tutorial about uh, this technique uh, and i will try to remember uh, about the link uh, to add the link uh, in the description under this video uh, but for my current work uh, i used another technique and i want to show you exactly this another technique we don't need any 3D layers. I have uh, several layers uh, uh, for my coin. It's a front, uh, front part, uh, some details for the side part and of course back. Uh, let's start uh, animating the front part uh, and according to this animation we will uh, add other details for the rotation. So first of all I have to animate scale and position. Okay, let's add keyframes. Okay, and also let's add one more guide. Nice, and of course let's scale our uh, front side. Um, to zero yeah nice and move to the right then we need to copy this um, layer okay apply fill effect nice uh, let's use this orange color And also we need to change a bit the final position pose, so we need to replace it here. And it will be our width of the coin. Move it back, uh, because it's the back part of the coin, and let's see what we have. Okay, nice. We also can add uh, more guides. Let's do it, maybe like this. And also change a bit uh, the final position pose. What's next? I will turn off for, uh, for now the background uh, and now I can see the borders of the coins and also I need more guides. Let's add it here. And here and now I can draw a rectangle let's do it here and of course I will convert to the Bezier pass uh, just because uh, it's easier to edit right now so let's see the border here and here okay nice and let's change the layer order, move it between front and back uh, part of the coin. Okay, not, not so bad. We can add it again. Mm, 
Now we can add even flares. Uh, I have the special layer here and we also can animate the position here. But pay attention uh, on the timing. As you can see, I use the same timing and uh, a bit later we will change uh, the spacing. We will add some uh, more dynamic for this animation, but a bit later. Right now I use the same timing for my keyframes and of course uh, the same interpolation. As you you can see I use just linear keyframes. So let's animate uh, the uh, flare here. Let's do like this. And of course, of course, we need some effect uh, and it will be set mate effect. Let's apply and use as a mask our front um, part of the coin, yeah? But right now we have only the first half of the full rotation of the coin, so we need to add uh, another half, yeah? So how we will do it? First of all, let's rename these three layers. Uh, obviously it will be our front part. This rectangle, it's our middle part, and the last one, of course, back. Then I will cut these layers on uh, the last keyframes, great, and then I will duplicate it, nice, and of course, cut it as well, but uh, in this way, as you can see. Uh, let's reverse the keyframes here. So yeah, now it will be our loop, as you can see. And here we need to change layer order and of course uh, some colors. First of all, let's uh, move uh, the back um, the back part um, in front. So here and the front part. Uh, just in back, yeah. Just change uh, the layer order here. And of course, we don't need the fill effect for the back uh, part uh, here, so let's cut it. But apply it to this another one shape. Let's see what we have. Ta da! So now we have the full rotation, the full loop of the rotation uh, for this coin. You can also add uh, one more flare here, so duplicate it, uh, change a bit, uh, and of course don't forget to change the, uh, uh, the mask for the set mate uh, effect. Right now it should be back too, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Yeah, but I guess it's it's too much, to be honest, uh, so I will delete it, but if you want, you can do it as well. Don't forget to uh, loop the flare here, so we don't have uh, any flare uh, on the first frame, so obviously we don't need any uh, flare uh, in the last, so yeah. And the last uh, stage, uh, I'm going to add some lines because I have it right now, you can see it. Uh, and let's add it as well. How we will do it? I need, uh, obviously, I need some mask for this uh, layer. Uh, let's change the position first of all. Just uh, move it uh, to the center of the composition. Okay. Maybe change the beat and make it um, yeah, a bit wider, I guess. I need to create a mask, so I will use I will use two masks. Uh, it will be back and mid for the first half of the rotation, and again uh, uh, these two layers for the second part. So let's duplicate it. Then move it to the precompose and it will be just mask one. I will use set mate effect and as a mask I will use our precompose mask one, but don't forget to turn off this mask one and of course uh, move change uh, the layer order again. Okay, so 
for the first half of the rotation we have these lines but also we need for another one let's duplicate these two layers again and just do the same it will be our mask to move it to the precompose and duplicate lines and here we have to change uh, the mask for the set made effect again turn off this one and of course um, change the layer order yay nice so it's pretty simple maybe you are a bit confused but don't worry it's pretty simple i just uh, move uh, the back um, layers to the precompose duplicated it then move to the precompose and then i use this precompose uh, as a mask for my lines and uh, then repeat this uh, action uh, for another half of the rotation so yeah it's pretty simple and uh, i also remind you that i have patreon where i share my uh, projects uh, for, for each uh, tutorial so you can find it and of course of course uh, understand it better how it works and the last stage let's change uh, the timing and of course the spacing for this coin uh, I have this uh, composition I will move to another final composition here and I will use time remapping enable time remapping here and remember we have uh, uh, this loop let's add uh, let's add a keyframe don't forget to delete the last keyframe because we don't need it and of course let's change spacing and uh, work with uh, speed graph just because we can we can also duplicate the first keyframe and again work a bit with uh, speed graph We can stretch the animation why not let's see what we have yay nice so you can play with spacing with timing using just time remapping um, don't forget to use the same period of time that you used to for um, creating your original loop so I have uh, 20 frames uh, for the original loop so here I also put uh, the keyframe on the 20s, um, 20s frame. That's all that I wanted to show you in this tutorial. If you found something useful and helpful please let me know below in comments. I really love your activity and of course don't forget to mention me in Instagram if you create something based on my tutorials. I I watch everything, I repost everything and I love your results. I also remind you about my class on Udemy, uh, where I share my tips and tricks about advanced character week. So if you like my blog, if you want uh, to know even more, you can join this class. Uh, of course, link uh, is uh, below in the description of this video. And thanks for your time. See you in the next video.